Hello, hello, I hope you're doing good. It's Sunday evening. Tomorrow is Monday, which means Paris Fashion Week is starting. I will be going to my first show in the evening, which is going to be Vaquera. I'm so excited about it. The past few weeks have been basically like my last vlog in a loop. I was just at home by myself working through summer. Philemon was in Munich for almost five weeks. I missed him so much. But it was also really good to spend some time alone because I really got into working on my personal project, which I'm so excited about and I can't wait to share it with you. I hope to be able to release it this year before Christmas or earlier next year. It's going to be amazing, groundbreaking, never before seen, magnifique. I'm really way too excited for it. But now, Paris Fashion Week, I will be going to my favorite shows, which I'm so happy about and so grateful for. I already had some really nice fittings and it's going to be so cool. I can't wait to see the shows. I'm so curious. Vaquera is one of the most exciting young brands for me. It's Vaquera, Y Project and Kiko Costarino. Really excited for the show tonight. The first Vaquera show I ever went to was exactly a year ago. It was super, super loud. The models were super, super fast. And I'm excited to see what will be going on tonight. Uh, I think we'll just start on time. Yeah. On fashion time, so... Wednesday. I just had a little last minute fitting at Lucien Paget, which is like the fashion Olymp of Paris. Probably the whole world, but I can only speak for Paris. They are a PR agency. Basically, they run this whole city. They are everywhere. They are the quickest. I had the fitting for the Marnie show later, which I'm super excited about. I love the patterns and the colors of Marnie. I think it's going to be very joyful. I love fittings, it makes me feel like a princess, but I always try to be like as quick as possible also to not get on the nerves of the PR people because obviously like the fashion week is the most stressful times for them. But basically when a brand wants to dress you, there are two options. Either you have the opportunity to have a fitting, which is amazing of course, because it's always better to try on the clothes, or you get sent a lookbook and you can choose an outfit or like looks that are still available from the lookbook which is also nice of course and then after the show sometimes even like the next morning already or the same day um, they want to look back so you have to prepare it for the courier and there's like a lot of like behind the scenes going on like the past few days with the emails and everything is insane and also sometimes I'm not sure if I'm invited to the show up until the day before especially with the bigger shows I think obviously because if they have like a seat free or whatever they can squeeze me in. There are also shows which I get invited to and I choose not to go just because I don't feel like I really vibe a hundred percent with the brand or it's like totally my thing then I prefer to not go because obviously like I'm not a fashion critic and it's very personal my way of communicating and it would feel wrong to document a show which doesn't necessarily feel like it's a hundred percent my vibe. Shit, I'm a bit late to the money show and it's so hard to walk fast in these shoes. I made it, I'm so happy, oh my god. check of my money look because I love the shoes they're giving me mini mouse they are a bit big so I had to walk really slowly but this leather skirt how cute and then I have this big shirt which I love and I did button it a bit weirdly <laughs> so it would fit the show was amazing it was a bit chaos which I really enjoyed it was really a vibe in this really like beautiful building it was really cool also the cameras had ba uh, the bags had cameras a lot of huge dresses and huge bags and then the models because the catwalk was so tiny they had to like squeeze I felt a bit bad for them and I think it was a bit stressful I just arrived at Akin Studios look how many people it's insane this is where everyone takes pictures 
and I think the show entrance is right here. I love my look. Look at these lace details. So nice. And also the back is so cute. running a couple of errands and I had to give you a quick update. I'm having the best time during fashion week always but I'm also a bit stressed that I would lie if I would act like I wouldn't be because life doesn't stop because of fashion week so I have to do so many things at once. Also I'm so grateful to have these opportunities and it's so crazy how even though I know how rewarded I am for everything that I do and I really see it and appreciate it, it's so easy to be to get insecure and to like compare yourself and put yourself under so much pressure. I would have loved to see the undercover show. It looked amazing. Mm -hmm. And also... Okay. Mm -hmm. Guess who got invited to her first Comme des Garçons show? I'm so excited. Oh my god. It's actually one of the biggest honors for me to be invited to a Comme des Garçons show because I feel like they are so selective. They always send out invitations very last minute, so I'm never sure if I'm able to go. So I got my invite for Comme des Garçons this morning at like 6, I got the email. This really means the world to me because I'm such a huge fan of their whole universe. And the Noa Kei Ninomiya show today was also so moving. Noa Kei Ninomiya is always like a wow show because it's very constructed and it almost seems like a dream because the pieces look like an illusion. Like also with the like last minute invitation thing, it's kind of nice because you can't really prepare the look for them. So it's way more about the shows and the collection. I thought about applying gloss on top of the black eyeshadow but I'm not sure because we always go with the scooter I'm so lucky to have Philemon by the way big fat shout out to Philemon he always helps me so much I couldn't do it without him he brings me to the show with the scooter which is the quickest way to go he's the best but because we're going with the scooter I think it's not such a good idea also for the, with the gloss because my hair is going to get stuck in it sometimes when I get off the scooter I feel like a Barbie with a squeezed in head <laughs> Standing in front of the Otto Linger show. I have no idea where to get in, but I'm very excited for it. It's my first Otto Linger show, and I can't wait to see the collection. Somehow, I'm so curious about their music choice. My camera's I, uh, SD card is full, and I love my look so much. Full Otto Linger. Just the shoes were a size 42, and they didn't fit me because I'm a size 39. Also, I'm slightly hungover. So I'm a bit jiggly and I couldn't take the risk of not being able to walk at all. I'm wearing a long velvety like dark blue skirt which is so beautiful but it's so hard to walk in. Look, that's the fastest I can go. So overwhelming, so many people. It's a bit later in the day and I'm on my way to White Project. I'm so excited. It was the first time for me to get dressed by the brand and I'm obsessed with my look. I'm wearing my pink Magella MM6 ballerinas with it and my De Hegre hair hoops, my favorite.
Canal Day. Best mornings always. So much better than Christmas morning. I'm so excited. I'm wearing this fabulous pink tweed trousers here today and black vinyl boots and bag. And I also have like a black smoky eye because I was channeling Bill Cowlitz from circa 2008. That's also why I have these gloves on. I hope I don't look too much like a Karl Lagerfeld impersonator. Changed in the bathroom to get ready for the Kiko Kastani look show. So excited. I'm already wearing the look and I will put on a red lip, I think. I'm just removing my smoky eye, which was very creasy after the rain. My inspo was Bill Cowlitz and we literally drove through the monsoon. I just arrived at the Kiko show and I love my look so much. It's actually one of my favorite looks. The season I think. Look at the shoe in the head. Wait. So cute, right? I feel like a little Kiko elf. <laughs> about to take my red lip off because I feel like it was everywhere to be honest I'm quite tired but I'm also so happy it was the most amazing week and the show was beautiful to be honest it's always one of the most exciting shows for me just because I'm such a fangirl of Laura and Diana I think the looks are always so beautifully complicated and so interesting to see I'm always so curious they had like the shoes I'm actually wearing right now with like snake prints in metallic colors and then beautiful like printed hair on top of the face of the model it was stunning thank you so much for watching my vlog i hope you enjoyed also we're going to japan and korea in three days which has been one of my biggest wishes and i'm so excited i will definitely bring you along of course so yeah see you then Bisous. i will rot in bed now